So I'm gonna leave some of that footage in, as you saw with those new flowers. I don't know what those are either. Um, we're doing some eco dyeing. First, we had to contend with the spiders. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm allergic to arachnid venom. So anyway, uh, husband got them, thankfully. Um, and um, I did squish the flowers and we got it all pressed. We didn't get any of the purple color, but we got a lot of interesting greens. So we'll see how everything looks when it dries and I will be right back. Hey guys, so the papers and fabric from the last batch of eco dyeing are dry. The results are not as expected. Um, so as we kind of um, thought maybe as we were doing it, we, we I mean me, <laughs> I don't know what you thought when you were watching. We didn't, we hardly get any of the purple. Lots of green, some yellow, a little bit of brown, which I'm sure is the coffee, a tiny bit of purple. I'm gonna show you here. So first, here's the paper. Here's the lighter of the two papers. And then here's the other one. Let me know if you all would be interested in digital downloads of eco, eco prints that you could print on stickers and things at home. Let me know in the comments below. Um, here is one of the fabrics. I'll give you a better shot in, the, in a minute up against the desk. And here's the other one. Really interesting. And they'll be make interesting um, slow stitch backgrounds, the fabrics. Hang on. Here are the fabrics that we did today. There's the one. Here's the other one. They're really, really interesting. And then here's the paper. So not what was expected, but interesting nonetheless. I'm having fun doing the eco printing. Here are the other ones that I did the other day. There is a video for that um, that's coming out soon. Patrons over in Patreon have already got a sneak peek, but that is coming out on May 4th. By the time you see this, it should be out already. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments below if digital downloads of any of these, like some kind of floral down eco print bundle would be in something you'd be interested in. Um, let me know in the comments below. So that's it for right now. It's, it's fun experimenting with dyeing things from nature. Of course, you want to make sure you take all precautions. Um, you don't know if the fumes, I don't know if the fumes from what I'm steaming and pressing are going to be poisonous or not. Hopefully not. I try to be careful that I'm not picking that sort of thing. Um, but you do want to take precautions and make sure you wash your hands after you're done before you eat anything or touch your face, um, that you have the windows open and good ventilation and all of those sort of things, please take all precautions. There's a lot of videos out there for eco dyeing. I am no expert by any stretch of the imagination, but it sure is fun to experiment and play. Uh, anyway, that's it for right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Relevant links will also be in the video description along with ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, um, including my Etsy shop and Patreon and YouTube membership and Amazon, I mean, uh, PayPal tip jar and all of that stuff, uh, Amazon affiliate links. Uh, I'm not the only one with a list of ways to support all of the creatives, or at least most of the ones I know here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups usually have some kind of way you can support them. Um, so if you have a favorite and you want to know how you can do that, um, message them if you can't figure it out because they probably have one. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.